Praise God, praise God. This is my last video. Again, excuse me, I am still under the weather. Praise God, hallelujah. And if you notice my title, now I need to do a disclaimer. Oh God, I do. I am not racist, not trying to just talk about our culture, but God gave me something actually two weeks ago, and I got to say it just the way he want me to say it, and I'm going to tell you right now, you black people, us, you're not going to like me. You're not going to like what I got to say. I'm just going to tell it, and I, I don't know how to sugarcoat nothing, right? Okay, so here we go. I remember when I was growing up, I, I'm i still proud to be black. I want, I want you to know that. But I was prouder when I was growing up. You know, we had Al Green. We had Marvin Gaye. Forget that. We, we just had our culture, you know. You know, I, I grew up Southern, so I'm going to take you a little walk and walk with me. You, you, you ain't got to stay with me, but just walk with me, right? And I grew up in the South, Abbeville, Louisiana, a little country town. We didn't have much, I promise you, but we had God and we had each other. We had family. You know, we would have dinner on Sundays, you know. Everybody go to church. Some go to St. Teresa. Some go to Pleasant Greens. Hey, go where you go, just as long as you go to church. You're getting about it there. You, know, you ain't got uh, to go, but you got to get about it here, how mom used to say but not only that we we had love we, we you know on Saturday and Sundays I'm just being real they would play cards or dominoes whatever you know whatever they did but it was love it, it, I like the way that my brothers they used to have that that, that puffed out afro and they, and they used to put the pick in it and the girls would do the same or, or they would braid their hair you know what I'm saying or, or, or they would pimp walk you know how don't black people you know put their little hand you know behind you know you know how they used to do it and talk you know rhyme how you doing I'm doing fine and on time you know something like that I, I'm taking you I'm taking you on a journey I'm taking you on a journey black people so I loved being black because our culture, we weren't perfect, but we was a culture that kept it real, for real. Because I, I got something to tell you. I got something to tell you. I got something to tell you. We say that we was real. We was real. And, and today, now, 50 years old, 2019, I look around at my culture. You say that you was real. And you say that you are real. And, and hold on, I want y'all to know that God put this to my spirit, not just Deanna. We are the fakest culture right now. Yeah, I'm saying it. Black people, you are the fakest culture. You, you act like crabs in a bucket. Hallelujah. Don't want your next brother or sister. You, 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 they will play you against each other. You know what day, he was, day is. Don't play with me. Hallelujah. You wear fake hat as if it's yours when you got natural hair. Hallelujah. Thick. <laughs> hallelujah. Wool hair. Sound familiar? Fake nails. Fake butts. Fake everything. But yet y'all real. Who taught you to hate yourself? Who taught you to hate yourself? I'm telling you what God say. Who taught you to hate who he made you to be? Black women, stop it, stop it, stop it. God is not pleased. I, 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 and I, I, I talked about this before, and I'm going to tell you. I remember I used to wear the hair. Oh, yes. They used to call me Hollywood when I was in Hollywood. They really did, by the way. My nickname was Hollywood. I don't know why I got no pictures. Y'all would have been tripped out on. And I used to wear this big hair. I thought I was Diana Ross, man. I would be like, you know, I really just thought it was my hair. And, and it doesn't matter what I did. I had to sleep with it sometimes. So I understand. Right? It becoming a part of you because you're not really secure with who you are. I never forget though, when I started walking in God, he said, Why do you have that dead thing on a live being? I said, God, what you talking about? He said, Diana, that's a dead thing. He said, But not only a dead thing, you know the rituals they do with that hair? And y'all wonder why when y'all put it on, you transform. Because that's a spirit. Hallelujah. That's a spirit. Billion dollar industry. And you wonder why your children ain't got no, no, no clothes or no school supplies. Billion dollar industry. But you'll go for $500 for that hat. Wonder why your lights can't stay on. But you'll go to church and ask for the church. Oh, am I on some toes today? And I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love everybody of all different colors. But I'm just addressing y'all because y'all have got beside yourself. Because now, let me tell you what really brought this on too. So I was standing. I saw this little girl down the street. She was still about four houses. Um, and this is very... Um, all the houses here are five bedrooms, five baths. So you understand what I'm saying, right? Okay. And she she was by herself outside, and she had the long fake hair. And look what she kept doing. She was doing. And I'm looking. She did it again. And by herself, she just kept doing it. And I started to say, "Baby, that's not your hair." But I know I couldn't say that because then somebody would say, "Hey, that's my child. What you doing?" 
You don't like what I'm saying. She did it again. A child. Do y'all understand what has happened here? You got to think it's just about hair, huh? No, it's about control. Mass control. We in slavery more than we ever been. Hallelujah. Because they're telling you how to dress. They're telling you how to think. They're telling you what to wear. They're telling you to put hair on your head in order to be accepted. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Wake up, black people. You know, I, I made a song, I never released it. And I'm a, and you got to excuse my voice because, you know, I'm going to. My black people, my black people, we be treating each other so evil. Ain't that true? Ain't it true? <laughs> I hope I'm yanking y'all coat. And I hope, I hope some of you get mad. Take that, 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 that stuff off your, and you wear too much makeup. Love yourself. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to bash you. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Because I did it. I did it. Y'all know I did it. I had the hair. I had the makeup. I did it. I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm better than you now that I have arrived. Because I haven't arrived. I'm still learning. But as I learn, I'm going to tell my brothers and sisters the truth. That's a slap in the face to God. Let's talk about it for real. You mean to tell me that God didn't make you beautiful the way you are? And they're going to tell you to go spend some money and, and fix yourself? The devil is a liar. And all his little pimps and imps and simps. God made you beautiful. That's what he told me to tell you. That's a slap in the face to God when you add anything. And I ain't telling you nothing he didn't tell me. That's a slap in the face when you put on fake eyes. Color eyes. That's a slap in the face when you put on fake hair. That's a slap in the face when you put on fake nails. That's a slap in the face. Let me inject my butt so I can make my butt bigger. The devil is a liar. You know how people die? Illegally going to Mexico and everywhere else. Love yourself. Love yourself, men. Love yourself, women. Don't y'all see what they have done? <laughs> Mass destruction for real. I pray y'all understand. I pray, and, and hold on, hold on, hold on, because I hear it in the spirit already. Well, you know, some people have certain diseases and cancer. I get that. I get that. I'm about to go here. When I had cancer and I lost all my hair at one time. And I'm not lying. Yes, I wore a wig for a minute. But then I took that wig off and I prayed over my hair. I said, God, you God of everything. If you can give people houses, cars, and sure you can give them some hair. Excuse me, so I'm going to test you. Where's your faith? It's a faith walk. This ain't no, I, believe, I think, I'm not sure. I think I believe, I don't know. It's a faith walk. And your faith got to be greater than your doubt. And I know sometimes it get hard. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just trying to encourage you. I'm not trying to bash you or put you down. But I sure hope you wake up. I sure hope you wake up because God is preparing us to go back home. And um, you ain't going to be able to bring that fake hat with you. you. You can go in the grave with it, but it can't come to heaven. Or oh, it sure can't go to hell. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Come on now. <sighs> what hurts the most? It's when I saw that little girl doing that. See, I know y'all see the tears in my eyes. I don't know about y'all, but I know when I was a little girl, I had a choice. And the choice was no choice. Mama said, girl, you better break, get that straightening comb and come your head, your nap head here. Yeah, it wasn't that had napping, but you know what I'm saying. Now the little girls, they're like they can't live without that hair on their head. Y'all don't understand what y'all doing to them, huh? Y'all wonder where the low self-esteem coming in, huh? Y'all wonder why they, 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 don't you understand? It, it's all a system. Pharaoh system. <laughs> he working it from the inside out and y'all can't even see it. Yes, that's right. So I pray that you understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to hurt nobody, just trying to help y'all. You know? So, God bless you. God keep you. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. It's only love. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.